Hey guys, so this is not actually going to be a build video because as you can see, uh, this is already built. This was before I decided I was going to try to film things for people to view. But this is my Good Witch of the North build that I put together a couple of weeks ago. Um, I don't know, I was just kind of in a mood where I decided, hey, I love the Wizard of Oz. I'm going to build a house for each of the four witches. So this is for the Witch of the North, who is actually not Glinda in the books. Um, her name is Locasta or Taddy Poo. Uh, I don't really like Taddy Poo. I think it sounds silly, so I call her Locasta. But anyway, she lives in the north portion of Oz, which is Gillikin Country. And each section of Oz has a sort of home color. So the north is purple. So as you can see, there are lots of purple flowers over here. And my headcanon for this was that originally, you know, maybe back in the day, many, many years ago, this started as like just a one room cottage, maybe this room up here at front in particular. And then she had to expand because people were like, oh, wow, how nice is it to have a resonant good witch? But as you can see, I put like so many flowers, the snail from the cottage living pack, uh, lots and lots of purple everywhere. Uh, my thought was that, you know, she is uh, kind of eclectic, very cluttered. Um, you know, so it's very overgrown, but sort of in like a managed, sweet old lady gardener sort of way. Um, there's like little statues from Romantic Garden scattered around. There's one, oh, sorry, my camera's jumping around. There's one back here tucked in the corner. There's a fairy here on this uh, stump from Debug. Lots of stuff from Debug, actually. This tree is actually base game. This one with like the hanging flowers. It's so pretty. Uh, there's a little bench tucked over here. Lots of stuff going on outside, mainly just cuckoo crazy landscaping. And lots of, you know, overhanging flowers, wisteria. I've even got like archways from the romantic garden stuff pack, like layered in on top of these bay windows for like more greenery. There's a little pond over here. And she's got like a little gardening wagon. Are we in evening? Let me switch to afternoon so we can have a little bit better lighting. Cool. Much better. I mean, more shadows, but you can sort of see what's going on a little better. She's got like a little tucked away little sitting place back here underneath this willow tree. You can sort of see into her library over here. We will get to that. But anyway, just a very whimsical build. I was trying to go for, you know, something witchy, but obviously she's a good witch, so nice vibes, not really anything dark and spooky. She does have some, like, dark and spooky things inside, because in my head she's, you know, doing research on some dark magic to try to fight against it. But anyway, let's go down to the first floor. We've got this entryway here, very cluttered, again, more purple everywhere but i just kind of like loaded up the walls i went crazy she's got stuff just everywhere you can see there's like a little eggplant frog on top of this little curio cabinet from realm of magic she's got anything that i could find that was purple in the catalog pretty much is in here she's got so many lamps this is a realm of magic lamp layered with i think a lamp from i want to say it's from pets cats and dogs not pets because sims 4 could never give us all of that in one go, as we already know. But she's got the paranormal stuff, um, shelf. She's got some collections of crystals. I actually built this before the Crystal Creations pack came out, but I do have it now. Um, she's got a little fireplace. I actually gave her the tiniest little kitchen over here because I was more concerned with like the library and stuff. But she can use it. It is functional. Uh, this is on the gallery if you want to use it. So we've got, you know, a couple things here. Her library is actually really cool. It's two stories. Um, I've got, like, bookshelves stacked on top of each other. I, like, sized up some books and some crystals and put them in these bay windows. She's got candles everywhere. Uh, I've just tried to go for, like, a very cozy sort of, like, helter-skelter. Uh, nothing's really quite, you know, tucked away in the way that's supposed to. Everything's a little crooked. Uh, like, curtains everywhere candles. Um, I don't know. I really like how it turned out. Uh, if I scroll up, you can like kind of see, I think, the... I mean, obviously, there's a glass roof. 
But I think maybe if I go into tab mode, it's like better for you guys to see. Hold on. Uh, let's do it this way. I'm going to go down, enter tab mode. We're going down, down, down in the burning ring fire. Okay. Let's go this way and kind of act like we're walking and I'll page up so you can sort of see like the glass roof. It's really cool. It's got this big, again, you know, hanging ball light from Cats and Dogs. And just like a really nice, I don't know, I guess it's cozy, but sort of like grandiose at the same time. But it's also like not, uh, what would you call it? It doesn't have like a regal sort of feeling to it. I think it just feels like very like cluttered. And there's gallery walls everywhere. But anyway, there's that. Maybe if we, like, stay in camera mode, you can, like, kind of get a good idea. She's got a little sitting area here, I figure. Like, if people come to visit, this is where they hang out. There's a candy jar here. And if we go this way, this is not really a throne room, necessarily. More of, like, her, like, consulting room. Like, if she takes appointments, I feel like this is where she does it. She's got her cauldron in here. She's got her little, uh, whatever, spell books. She's got, oh the ceiling the roof is clipping through anyway uh she's got like her chair over here this is like an area where i just put like lots of little sculptures this owl taxidermy that i didn't even know was a thing but yeah this is like her corner where she sits and hears people's problems and tries to help them you know with her magic and her craft and everything that she does I, you can see I used like a lot of like the tomes from Realm of Magic as uh, clutter and decoration. She's got like some flowers scattered about. This tiny little cauldron from I think Spooky Day stuff. Um, it's actually like lights. If you turn it on in live mode, it's got like little ghosties that fly around it. But yeah, just the walls are full to bursting. Everything in here is kind of full to bursting, but I think it works. Um, this is her little dining area, and I decided that maybe she has a seance from time to time. Because, you know, why not? And this is another, we've got another frog tucked away here. You can't really see him, but he is up there, um, tucked away. Tiny little kitchen, which we kind of went over. A trash can tucked away here. So it is a functional build, although I don't know if I put an outdoor trash can. So sorry about that. But I just really like how it turned out. And there was stuff in the game that I didn't even know existed that was in purple swatches. So I'm kind of glad I got to explore a little. But let's get out of tab mode. And we'll go up. We are outside the house. As you can see, the roof kind of looks like a witch hat, which I thought was really cool. Um, it wasn't really intentional at first, but then it sort of turned out that way. And I was like, yes, it was meant to be. So anyway, here's a, like a closer look at the upstairs balcony. You can't actually get out here, but there are some like fairy statues. There's lots and lots of overgrowth. Uh, this is her bedroom, just a tiny space. I couldn't put a double bed up here, but I think a sickle bed works because she like lives alone. Um, but I put some magic wands up here. I layered like rugs on rugs on rugs which i think i did downstairs too i'd have to look and candles everywhere i tucked another spell book up into this little bump out here which i thought was cool there's some sacred candles from paranormal stuff and she's also got this tiny little bathroom as you can see there's like fish here sorry i'm getting distracted with this tiny little bathroom uh but lots of stuff in it lots of rugs again i've got towels I actually tucked the sink into this bay window, and it does work. I think I had to move it a little bit so that the Sims could still use it, but it does work. But overall, I don't know. I just tried to fill it with as many like sort of magical, whimsical things as I could. And of course, I've got like some sort of magical fish on the wall. And... Um, you know, there's this purple sword and shield, which I thought maybe... You know, she was a little more spicy back in the day. Maybe she fought in, like, some wars. There is actually a Bad Witch of the North that I think canonically she fights off. So, you know, maybe that's what it's from. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe she has stories. She has secrets. What does she know? We'll never know. It does use quite a few packs. I'd have to look and see if I can show you guys. It's this one. 
Uh, so quite a few. Cottage Living, Get Famous, Vampires Paranormal, Nifty Knitting, Tiny Living, Laundry Day. Okay, so it looks like pretty much every pack that I have I use. But, you know, it happens. I don't have all the packs because uh, I ain't got that kind of money. But it's got a little description. I put some, you know, whatever's on here. But yes, this is <coughs> uh, one of my Witches of Oz builds that's available. It's this one right here. But it's here. This is me. Again, if you want to follow me. Here is my profile. I don't have very many builds up. Hopefully that will change because I am starting this YouTube channel. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye-bye.